Cytomegalovirus or CMV is an enveloped double-stranded DNA virus. It belongs to the herpes viridae family and is one of the most common viruses that causes severe infection in organ transplant recipients. CMV can be transmitted through an infected person's blood and other bodily fluids such as saliva, genital secretions, and urine, as well as through the transplanted organ itself. During primary infection, the virus usually invades and multiplies in epithelial cells such as those found in the oral, gastrointestinal, or urinary mucosa. During the post-transplantation period, the recipient is usually given immunosuppressive medication to prevent the recipient's immune system from recognizing the transplanted tissue as foreign and rejecting it. However, one significant disadvantage of this approach is that the weakened immune system is unable to protect the body from pathogens such as CMV. When the immune system is weakened, the dormant virus takes the opportunity, hence called opportunistic infection, and can reactivate and cause disease. CMV destroys the structure of the infected cells. This causes enlarged cells with intranuclear violet inclusion bodies, giving the appearance of an owl's eye. CMV also infects blood monocytes and establishes a latent infection, which means the virus remains dormant for a long period of time. CMV has the potential to affect nearly every organ in the body. Symptoms vary according to the affected organ, including encephalitis with altered mental status, seizures and weakness, retinitis with blurring of vision, dark spots in the visual feeds called scotomas, or even total blindness, pneumonia with cough and shortness of breath, hepatitis with jaundice and liver failure, gastroenteritis with diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and abdominal pain, and of course, transplant rejection. Very prominent and important alarms to watch for including diarrhea, abdominal pain, and leukopenia, which is low white count. Manifestations usually appear one to six months after discontinuation of prophylaxis post-transplant. Almost always, the transplanted organ is harmed. This is because virally infected cells attract immune cells to the site which recognize the foreign transplanted cells and may attack them in the process of killing the virus. What's the risk status? A high risk status indicates that the donor has been exposed to the virus and has antibodies to it, whereas the recipient has never been exposed to the virus and has no antibodies to it. We keep these patients on antiviral prophylaxis, which is valcite, for six months post-transplant. If the recipient and donor were not previously exposed to the virus, this is called low risk status. If the recipient was previously exposed to the virus, regardless of the donor, this is called a moderate risk status. We keep antiviral prophylaxis valcite, for those patients for about three months post-transplant. Few more definitions to know. CMV viremia is detection of the virus in the blood by a technique called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. CMV syndrome means fever more than 38 degrees Celsius for at least two days within a four-day period, CMV viremia, and either low white count, which is neutropenia, or low platelet count, which is thrombocytopenia. CMV disease consists of end organ disease and CMV syndrome. Infected patients may have low-level viremia, which is viral count in the blood, but have CMV disease with organ infection. CMV infections are diagnosed by isolating the virus from the blood sample using a test called CMV plasma PCR or from body fluids or tissues using a biopsy, example column biopsy. Treatment consists of antiviral medications in various doses, such as intravenous gancyclovir, PO valgancyclovir, intravenous phoscarnet for CMV resistance, PO maribavir, and cytogam, which is intravenous immunoglobulin specifically directed against CMV. Stay tuned for more information on how to treat with real-world clinical scenarios. Talk soon.